Today, pretty much like any other day, is a great day to talk about fear. Why? Because everybody experiences fear. Some of us more often than others, sometimes on a regular basis. And fear can be a secondary emotion, which generally means it's got something else underlying it. And the way through fear is to first acknowledge that you're experiencing it, then second, explore why you are fearful. And then when you know why, you can decide on the what, put in the action plan. What are the things I want to do to move myself through this fear, to muster up the courage to move forward? Now, fear of the unknown and fear of change can have two sort of paths to follow. I might be fearful of the negative unknown and change, and I might be fearful of the positive unknown and change. So let's explore the positive first. I'm fearful of being too successful. I'm fearful of, you know, breaking free of what's been holding me back and letting my light shine. I'm fearful of those things because perhaps of imposter sim syndrome, perhaps of leaving other people behind, perhaps of really fully coming into who I am and then having the accountability or responsibility of living that way. Emotional intelligence gives us a gigantic leap forward with the courage needed to move through this kind of positive fear within the self-perception realm of emotional intelligence, working on your self-regard. So a lot of us will grow up with self-regard that is stockpiled. So my strengths and weaknesses have been predefined or defined by other people that have told me these are things you're good at, these are things you're not good at. And sometimes we hear a little bit too much of these are the things you're not good at. And those pre-definitions or descriptions of ourselves from the external world start to define what we believe on the inside we're capable of doing. In emotional intelligence, because it's inside out work, we have to gain the skill set around knowing ourselves deeply enough to properly catalog reality testing, objectively looking at what am I good at? What are my strengths? The things that not just jazz me up and fuel me up and fulfill my life, but I am interested in, passionate about, really good at doing. And having a solid list there helps to overcome the fear of potential success that is too much for us to handle. Now, if we look down the other path, the negative be behind the fear of unknown or change is that that negative is a little bit more about, you know, the devil that you know compared to the devil that you don't. We're comfortable in the discomfort we're experiencing right now. And if I were to, you know, muster the courage to move forward through my fear and go for this big dream of mine, what if I fail? What if I lose friends and family members? What if I become more uncomfortable than what I already am right now? You know, what if it just doesn't work? And in emotional intelligence, this is really harnessing the power of the stress management realm. This is where we look at things like optimism, the positive outlook on life. And optimism is balanced again with reality testing. So remember, this is not about putting rose colored glasses on and blindly uh, jumping or leaping off of a cliff and fingers crossed hoping everything is going to be great. These are solid skills of knowing, yes, I can objectively accomplish and move through the discomfort and chaos that is in front of me because I have X, Y, and Z skills in this area, the confidence and self-assuredness. So I believe that the outcome is going to be positive. I believe that I have what is within myself to be much more successful. And so by exploring these positive and negative paths to fear of the unknown or of change, we get to start to see that there are emotional intelligence skills that help us not really even to muster the courage, but to muster the courage in a way that successfully gets us through to the other side. So we get to reap all of the rewards.